Welcome climate viewers. My name is Jim Lee, the climate viewer guy with facts minus fear porn. It is October 17th, 2018. And I wanted to update you guys on some of the new stuff coming to climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and weathermodificationhistory.com. And uh, before we do that, I just want to remind you all, everything that I do is free of charge, open source, and I, I greatly appreciate your support. If you could support me with a monthly donation on Patreon or a one-time donation on PayPal or GoFundMe, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, that being said, uh, i got a lot of stuff I've been working on. Um, may, some of you may have caught the latest videos I've done. They're doing amazingly well. The, the response has been overwhelming to my presentation. Um, this one right here, Carbon Black Dust, The Chemtrail Secret for Weather Warfare, Geoengineering, and Ozone Destruction. If you haven't been over to the website, I suggest you do because there's more than just a video there. There is the actual presentation itself. You can flip through it. All of the links are provided. You can click on these links. You can download this presentation as a PowerPoint or view it on Google Slides or Scribd. Um, it's a great presentation. It really goes through all of the details behind uh, you know, the, the chemtrail phenomena, and I hope that you guys will check that out. So uh, I also just put out a video on Hands Off Mother Earth Manifesto, a permanent ban on geoengineering. I'm pretty stoked about this one. You guys have got to see it. Um, if you haven't already downloaded the PDF and read it, um, you know, basically they're calling for a permanent ban on all geoengineering field exp uh, experiments and deployment, which is a monumental epic win for all of us. Um, and they go on to uh, name some of the current, uh, you know, programs that are being worked on. Um, I'm also working on Climate Viewer News right now. I'm kind of in a um, stuck mode right now because I decided to resize um, all of the images on the website. Apparently, you know, serving 1080p images on the front page at about half a megabyte a piece was really slowing it down for some of the people with slower computers. And, uh, you know, even these small images were like 1080p, you know, big images. So I'm having to go through all of my articles literally one by one. And uh, some of these I didn't even have an image for. They were just pulling them directly from YouTube. So what I'm having to do is go back and add in like a banner line here and then put an actual image um, on the server. That way in case, you know, if something ever goes wrong and Google decides to delete my channel, at least I will have all of my videos backed up and the images, image previews, all of that. I don't want to have a blank site one day just because Google decided to pull the cord. I think you guys know where I'm coming from on that. Um, on that note, I have been uploading my videos to BitTube. Um, already on BitTube, 154 of my videos have been mirrored. So... That's a good thing. Um, I'm gonna update that to the latest videos very shortly. Problem is they're all in reverse order. So <laughs> if you come here, they're gonna be uh, you know, sorted by newest, but they're actually my oldest videos are first and my newest are near the bottom. Uh, but regardless, we'll get that thing updated. And I'm also on, that's bit.tube slash climate viewer. I'm also on real.video slash channel slash climate viewer. I will be uploading all of my videos over there as well um, so that there is a backup and an alternative to YouTube. Um, but like I said, I'm going through and updating all of this stuff right now. And, you know, as you can see, there's some blank spots. So I got a lot of work to do. I got something close to 235 articles to go through and make sure that they're not pulling images from YouTube, um, that they are pulling all the images from my website and that I have them backed up. God forbid, you know, the YouTube gods are not friendly at times. Um, over on climateviewer.org, 
Uh, if you haven't checked it out lately, this is the latest version. I did switch some things up. Um, what I did was I moved the mobile map to the front page and I put the 3D map back on climateviewer.org slash 3D with a lowercase d. Now you can just hit the switch to 2D map or right here it says switch to 3D globe to do that or they're both right here under full screen map. So you can either click Climate Viewer Mobile or Climate Viewer 3D, your choice, depending on your computer. Um, one may run better than the other, or one may, you know, the 3D may not run at all if you don't have 3D graphic support. You know, of course me, I love the 3D version, um, but this is just an example of, you know, a satellite view with um, earthquakes and fires all same time and what you can see is you come in here and where are we at moving a little slowly for me the the difference with the the, the mobile map is it's a little slower um, on the draw and what you can see is the fires here and you can actually see the satellite view of the smoke coming off the fires uh, you can also see earthquakes and stuff like that. And there's this same thing over here on Climate Viewer 3D. The icons may appear a little smaller, but as you zoom in, they get bigger, as you can see. And it's much more accurate. So it's totally your choice which you choose. I prefer the 3D one. Um, and, you know, an example of the details over here on the side. This one's coming up black. And the other is coming up uh, white. But, you know, just just very small differences. Uh, I am working on some new maps that are going to be coming out on climateviewer.org. One of the big ones right now is all of the solar power stations in the world, especially the biggest ones. Uh, right here, I have Crescent Dunes Solar Energy Project. And as you can see, when you click on it, nice photos um, associated with it um, power ratings and all of this i'm getting this from nrel.gov um, solar concentrating uh, concentrated solar power stations these are power towers and as you can see um, acme solar tower the ashalem in uh, israel atacama i mean these things are monumental and I think they're really cool. So I've been going through and finding these all over the world, uh, you know, where they're being built, all of that sort of thing. Um, the Japanese ones aren't, or Chinese ones aren't built yet, but, you know, finding the locations for these, not so easy, um, including, you know, um, linear Fresnel reflectors and all this sort of stuff. List goes on and on and on. Um, I think there's close to like 500 of them in here now. So anyway, I'm going to cut this one um, shorter than I had planned to, but I'm getting all of the largest ones in the world uh, to put in this map. And as you can see, it's already pretty expensive, expansive. Um, boy, France has got a load of them. Look at all that solar power. And I want to remind everybody that solar power is being threatened by our current chemtrail conundrum. So I hope that the solar industry will pay attention to my latest video about carbon black dust because this uh, contrail chemtrail cirrus cloud phenomena threatens the solar industry. So I took it upon myself to map out the solar industry. The, another map I'm going to be working on is Antarctic uh, stations. I've got an updated list. I have a current um, Antarctic station map um, on climateviewer.org, but this is a complete listing dated 2018. I've got some pretty accurate information here. And uh, as you can see, when you scroll through this, all of the stations with you know pretty good looking images of them i'm gonna have a whole field day cutting out these pictures uh but yeah this is this is a great pdf for me to go through and make a map out of so expect to see a full listing of every antarctic station there is uh coming soon to climateviewer.org uh, if you guys haven't been checking out climate viewer reports 
You can do that over on climateviewer.org simply by clicking on links and either hit submit a report or view the report. And uh, this is a report that just came in uh, from, uh, where was it? Uh, Amsterdam. And boy, look at that screwed up sky. So, hey, shout out um, solar industry. This is threatening your uh, future. So get on board already, for real. Um, you know, so that, that being said, you know, I got a lot of stuff going on simultaneously. Uh, there will be many more videos coming out in the near future. I'm trying to get a lot of stuff off my to-do list. Uh, doing some work in the yard uh, and you know a lot of health changes um, I want to report some good news uh, a lot of people are familiar with the fact that I've been battling Graves disease uh, for quite some time and I want to um, you know thank everybody who has donated to my GoFundMe uh, it's really helping out and I got results back for the first time that are just amazingly awesome so I did a blood draw about a week and a half two weeks ago and for the first time in nine years my thyroid levels were perfectly normal just a slight bit low on my um, my t3 uh, account so they're saying I'm slightly hypothyroid but I have had hyperthyroidism or Graves disease for nine years now and with all of the changes with all of the advice love and prayers that you guys have sent me um the dietary changes uh you know deleting my facebook and twitter uh reducing stress level working outside in the yard more often um, things are really starting to turn around so i hope that you guys will continue to support me that's at gofundme.com slash fix my thyroid and all of that I'm using directly for, you know, organics, um, supplements. Um, I'm, I'm going to share what I have done to turn this around when um, I am absolutely certain that, you know, this is, the, you know, that I've got a plan that I can give somebody else. But so far, so good. I've gone from um 138 pounds i was stuck at 138 pounds and couldn't gain a pound for two and a half months and i am back to my ideal weight um i'm 5'9 and i'm 155 pounds i've been 5'9 and 155 pounds since i was 15 years old so finally i'm back to my normal weight i'm sure you can see it in my face i've been getting a lot of compliments uh, thank you very much. I know I'm looking pretty. Um, and I'm feeling really good about it. So I really want to thank everybody for you know their advice, for the people who've sent me books to educate me on fixing my thyroid, um, for all the love and prayers, for the donations. Um, I've had you know people send me juicer, a juicer, um, you know frankincense, all um, CBD oils. You guys. I love you very much and I really appreciate it. So if you could continue to support me, um, I am healing I, I, and right now, according to my last blood draw for the first time in nine years, um, God, it just made my day, uh, you know, to see the, I went and saw a specialist and of course she was like, oh, we need to cut your thyroid out. And I was like, we just went through this with the last specialist. <laughs> you haven't even, you know, tested me yet. And you're already talking about cutting my thyroid out. Not happening. Um, anyway, so um, I talked to the guy at the front desk and he's like, you know, you, we got, we're going to wait and see what your blood draw says. And I said, I will bet you 20 bucks when it comes back. It's going to say everything is perfect because I have not taken methimazole or any of my anti-thyroid medicine that I've been taking for nine years for three weeks now, and I have never felt better. And sure enough, when that result came back, it just you know tapped my heels, uh, did a, a lap around the yard, um, and I owe a lot of that to you guys who have emailed me, um, you know, called me, and you know really pushed me to to you know, do this and I'm glad that it's working. So 
Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to continue to do things like uh, you just saw with this, you know, carbon black dust. Um, I feel that the presentations um, really make a big difference because, you know, people can go through and reference this stuff. Helps me with the videos as well because, you know, it keeps me on track. And every single one of these is referenced. So somebody can actually click on it and open link a new tab and, you know, go over and see where I got that information from. Oh, here it is over on weathermodificationhistory.com. So it's more than just a video um, at this point. You know, you've got the video. It's almost at 10,000 views right now. And the comments on the video are phenomenal. I'm going to do more of these um, PowerPoint presentations. In fact, the next one I intend to do will be on HARP. So buckle your seat belts. I can promise you that the next PowerPoint presentation that I do when I do it on HARP is going to be one of the craziest ones you've ever seen in your entire life. Um, and I swear to God, you are going to be impressed by that one. So things in the works, um, I've got this, you know, solar map coming out close to 120 new maps coming to climateviewer.org. I will be working on this Antarctic, uh, you know, facility map because I can barely wait to get to this one. Um, but first up, I've got to finish up putting all these new images, um, resizing them, Photoshopping close to 200 images gonna take me a minute but I'm working my way through it slowly um, I, I'd also suggest that you guys you know if you haven't already um, come over to the uh, climate viewer chat it is on discord and uh, you know we have a lot of people in here chatting it up uh, I've been hanging out in here more often lately because I'm no longer on social media and it feels great so if you want to come talk to me, hit the chat link on either climateviewer.com or climateviewer.org or in the details of this video. And there's an invite to the Discord channel. Um, feel free to join up and be a part of the conversation. So um, guys, things are going really well. Feeling better than ever. And I got a lot coming down the pipe. Um, but you know... We're about quality, not quantity, about facts, not fear porn. And, uh, you know, this stuff takes some time. So if you'll continue to bear with me and if you will continue to support me, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm working my tail off to make this a better world. And, you know, I appreciate everybody who has supported me so far. And especially for all those who sent, you know, their advice hope prayers love um and support on fixing my thyroid it's working so um guys i love you mean it and uh remember take this information it's all free of charge there's you know no uh pay gate or you know subscription fee for climateviewer.com climateviewer.org or weathermodificationhistory.com this is about facts minus fear porn. So use this information and uh, with uh, information comes great power and with great power comes great responsibility. So I please, especially as bad as things are politically today, would like to remind you to attack ideas, not people. Thank you.